I have to say, Aiden, I haven't seen Albert this happy in forever. Thank you for what you're doing. Here's a list for your next book search. I've enjoyed our talks, but I tend to hog the conversation. Are there any questions you'd like to ask me? Well, actually, I am curious about something. Wonderful. What would you like to know? I get that you're romantic, but are you into subjects like science? An interesting question. Hopefully my answer will be worthy of it. You ask, though, as if they are entirely different ends of the spectrum. But to me, they are parallel notions. Whether it's science or romance, answers to questions are often best guesses based on what can be observed. With a different perspective, the same information leads to a different answer. For example, the sun was once a fiery god that, with better observational tools, was revealed to be but a fiery ball of gas. How do you feel about science? Especially given its role in our current mess. Science is just a tool, like a hammer. You can use it to build the shelter or bury it in someone's skull. A vivid but effective example. Hopefully we'll see more shelters and fewer of the other. Hurry back so we can speak some more. Of course. I'm looking forward to it. You're a miracle worker. You found them, then brought them back safely. Oh, ho, ho, ho. here now is one of the original great American novels, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Mark Twain was a wry observer of the human condition and a sharp-witted satirist. 
What would his take on the divisions of our society be, I wonder? Here we have what is known as the Written Torah, an introduction, if you will, to the origin story of the Jewish people, and part of the larger concept of the Torah that includes all their teachings, culture, and practice. A crucial tome of religion and culture. Our collection is growing by leaps and bounds, <laughs> primarily due to your leaping and bounding. <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> you are a stoic, aren't you? Damn, <laughs> thought you'd have a better sense of humor than Thalia. <laughs> oh well, 